just a reminder, this month we're trying to crush a can using only as much strength as we can put out with our pinky. Alright, so hopefully you've played around and challenged some of your friends to hydraulic thumb war. Now we're going to go through turning hydraulic thumb war into a can crusher. If at any point you think you've got it figured out, stop the video and try and figure it out on your own. First we're going to build a frame that will put our crushing syringes in. Take your four bolts and slide your three plates onto the bolts. If a nut gets stuck on the bolt, try tapping the nut on another bolt to free it up. Be sure your eight hole plate is on the outside. And make sure that your two limit spacers are installed between the two four hole plates just like this. Then screw a nut on each bolt so that it's even with the end of the bolt. Now, what happens if we just go ahead and put hydraulic thumb war into this frame? Huh, it doesn't seem like it's gonna work. It doesn't move enough, and I don't even know if we'd have enough mechanical advantage. Okay, what if we were to slip four of these syringes in? Then, with your extra long piece of tubing, cut 11 pieces, roughly an inch and a half long. There's a one and a half inch indicator on the sheet of paper that came in the parents only envelope. But you can also cut them about the length of your thumb, because as a rule of thumb, it's probably about an inch and a half long. Then, go ahead and install an adapter on each syringe. Using a T, tie two syringes together, and then with another T, tie the other two syringes together. Now, we can use a third T to tie all four syringes together. Now, if we go ahead and hook up one of our smaller syringes to this and try and crush a can, we will see that the small syringe doesn't push out enough water to fill the big syringes. So what if we were to somehow build some sort of pump so that we could move water from our cup to our crusher. Let's try it. We'll start with hooking up a T to our small syringe and then hooking up a long piece of tube into the cup of water. So now when we pull back on the piston, hopefully water will draw into the syringe and then when we push it down, it will go out into the crusher. All right, so the water's coming out of the cup. Then we go to push it back. Oh, wait, what? It's going back into the cup. Huh. That didn't work. But what if we were to somehow use this check valve? If you blow into the check valve, you'll see that it only lets air pass through one way. It's kind of like a one-way street for air or water. Look at the valve and you'll see a little arrow on it that points which way it lets water flow. Okay, let's hook up this one check valve to the side of the T going into the cup so that water can only come out of the cup and not back into it. Now let's try it again. All right. So far so good. Wait, now the water is coming back from the crushing syringes. I know. What if we were to install another check valve so that water could only flow into the crusher? Let's try that. All 
All right, so let's pull this back apart, set this down. Oops, forgot about Bernoulli and his siphon effect. Let's put this in back in the cup before we make a mess. Okay, so now water should come out of the cup when I pull back on the syringe and when I push it down, it should get pushed through this check valve and into the crusher. Sweet, it works. Now before we crush the can, I want to see what happens if we use the tiny syringe. Oh my goodness, this is so easy to crush. So the smaller syringe makes it easier to crush, but you have to pump it more. That makes sense because it has more mechanical advantage. In fact, this little syringe has 120 times mechanical advantage. That means that one pound of force in on the little syringe is equal to 120 pounds of force out of the crushing syringes. 10 pounds of force in is 1,200 pounds of force out. To see a little more about how this works, check out our lesson video. Now, to get the can out, we're gonna need to relieve pressure past the second check valve right here. It's easiest to do this by unscrewing one of the adapters and pushing the middle plate up. For a little extra challenge, see if you can figure out how to use the extra T, tubing, and valve to make relieving pressure easier. Then, once you get all this figured out, challenge a friend to see if they have what it takes to figure out how to crush a can using only their pinky. And lastly, don't forget about our innovation challenge. We give away a cool prize like a drone every month. For the innovation challenge, think of how you could use something you learned with this crate to solve some sort of problem. Maybe you'd like to make a can crushing station by the trash can so you don't have to take the trash out as often. Or maybe you turn hydraulic thumb war into a light switch remote so that you can turn on the lights while in bed. Then to enter, Ask your parents to share your idea with us on social media. Have fun, we can't wait to see what you come up with.